Israel's Ministry of Defense Elfek program will be awarded the prestigious Israel's Defense Prize for 2022 for the group's achievements that jointly developed, produced, and deployed Israel's most advanced observation satellite, OFEC-16. The award will be given in a ceremony to be held on June 14 at the residence of the President of Israel, Mr. Itzhak Herzog. The program is led by the Space Directorate at the Directorate of Defense Research and Development of the Defense Ministry, with IAI as the prime contractor and Elbit Systems as the payload provider. Israel's most advanced electro-optical observation satellite, OFEC-16, was launched into space on July 6, 2020, equipped with a new high-performance space camera developed and manufactured by Elbit Systems. In August 2020, the Israeli MOD released the first high-resolution images from the satellite, showing the Tabmor World Heritage Site in Syria. On this occasion, the ministry unveiled the national infrastructure for the production of space cameras, a joint project of the IMOD and Elbit Systems. The national infrastructure includes laboratories for the production of advanced space-qualified optical instruments and a vacuum chamber that simulates the conditions in space and is used to test the satellite camera before it is launched for its mission in space. The OFEC-16 satellite comprises Elbit Systems Jupiter Camera, a very high-resolution Earth observation camera integrated with the IAI's OPSAT-3000 satellite. The camera provides advanced military surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities with very detailed high-value target investigation, such as spotting small and discrete vehicles, objects, structures, and battle damage assessment with high definition. These capabilities enable users to better gain situational awareness and assessment of enemy intentions warnings at higher accuracy. The camera provides panchromatic imaging capabilities with a very high resolution with an option to support multispectral imaging, sharing the same optical assembly. The Jupiter camera is capable of simultaneous operation in panchromatic, multispectral, and pan-sharpened images. OFEC-16 is the third generation of OFEC satellites. The first operational satellite in the series was OFEC-3, launched in 1995. OFEC-5 based on the OPSAT 2000 platform became operational in 2002, followed by OFEC-7 launched in 2007. OFEC-9, the first of the current OPSAT 3000 series, was launched in 2010. It was followed by OFEC-11, launched in 2016. To maintain complete independence in the capability to produce, launch and operate these satellites, Israel developed an impressive infrastructure of space-qualified manufacturing of satellite buses, payloads, propulsion, and communications enabling the country uninterrupted access to space surveillance. All OFEC satellites are designed for a medium weight class of up to 400 kilograms, suitable for a lift to their low-Earth orbit by IAI's Shavit-2 satellite launchers. That's what made the Jupiter camera used on the OPSAT 3000 outstanding in performance to weight ratio. The satellite operates at an orbit of 600 kilometers. According to published technical data, the camera covers the spectral range between 0.45 to 0.9 micron. It has an aperture of 0.7 meters. The camera covers a swath of 15 kilometers with a 30 megapixel image and 50 centimeters resolution. The Space Administration in the Ministry of Defense has led the development and production of the satellite and its launcher. IAI is the prime contractor, having assigned the program to its systems, missiles, and space group, together with the MLM division, responsible for developing the launcher. The launch engines were developed by Tomer, a government-owned defense company, and Rafael Advanced Systems. Elbit Systems developed the satellite's payload camera, the Jupiter Electro-Optical System. Other companies have participated in this program including Roker and Cielo. Various IDF branches, primarily the Intelligence Corps and Air Force, have also been deeply involved in satellite development. IAI offers the OPSAT 3000 satellites with a comprehensive ground control segment enabling customers full sovereignty of their satellites. This type of operation has been adopted by Israel and Italy. The satellite is also offered in various service-based schemes, 
through the ImageSat International Company. The Israeli satellite operator is IDF Unit 9900, a unit responsible for the visual collection and interpretation operations in the IDF military intelligence. The unit's satellites have gathered mountains of geographic intelligence over the years and is now able to automatically detect changes in terrain in real-time indicating events of military interest. Apart from its operation with the IDF, Italy also operates the satellite by Telespazio, a joint venture between Leonardo and Thales. Arianespace launched the Italian satellite on August 1, 2017 from the European Space Centre in Kourou, French Guiana, with a Vega carrier, together with Venz, an Israeli satellite built by IAI and Elbit Systems for the French Space Agency. The Italians operate the satellite as a gap filler following the much heavier OPSIS satellite program, which was cancelled in 2014. Another operator of OPSAT 300 platforms is ImageSat International, operating the Eros NG constellation. By 2026, this constellation will comprise six ultra-high-performance, military-grade Earth observation satellites. The first step in this plan is the reuse of two operational satellites, designated by ImageSat as Aero C-1 and C-2. These satellites are believed to be two Israeli-operated satellites, providing imaging over areas of interest for the primary Israeli operator. By the second half of 2022, ImageSat expects to deploy its own satellite, the first of two Aero C-3 satellites. The second is scheduled to enter service in 2026. Aero C-3 is also based on the OPSAT 3000 platform, but it will deploy with multispectral sensing capability. This satellite will maintain 38 cm resolution in panchromatic imagery and add the multispectral capability with 76 cm resolution, covering a swath of 12.5 km. All Aero C satellites are based on the OPSAT 3000 class. By 2026 ImageSat expects to add the Aero C3 satellite to its constellation to be launched from the USA on a Falcon 9 launcher. This article is the first part of our review of Israel's reconnaissance satellite capabilities. The next part will cover the new initiatives of development mini, micro, and nano satellites and the new capabilities becoming available with the wave of new space providers. Stay tuned!